In this video, I'm gonna show you how to replace your spark plugs. They are located on each side of the engine. I'm only gonna show you this one, but the same process will apply to both sides. I need to remove this cover, three eight millimeter bolts. I'm gonna remove these three 10 millimeter bolts, get this bracket out of the way, and then this reservoir will actually naturally want to lean that way, so this will open up a lot here. There we go. Now you have nice open space to get to your um, ignition coils. And I'm, like I said, I'm only going to show you this one. All the rest are the same. You'll just have to reach for them. There is a seven millimeter screw holding on the ignition coil that is right on the back side of it. Go ahead and remove this. Pull it up and out, unplug the ignition coil, and now you can pull this straight up and out. Hopefully it's not too stuck in there. Set this aside, grab your spark plug socket. In this case, it's a 5 8 socket. Make sure it's seated down onto that spark plug. Break it free. And when you replace these spark plugs, feel for how tight they are because this engine is known to have loose spark plugs and uh, sometimes they even pop out. So make sure you take note of every single cylinder and how tight it is. They should all be tight, but I've personally had it where some of them are not. They're just loose. So go ahead and remove this one over here. Here's your old spark plug. Doesn't look too bad, just worn out. Take your new spark plug. Don't put anything on the threads. These threads should not have anything on them. No lubricant, no anti-seize, nothing. They go and dry. Use a spark plug socket. This one has a little rubber insert in the middle, which actually holds on to the spark plug so that it doesn't fall. If it falls down into the cylinder, you might potentially damage the electrode, in which case you will need a new spark plug. Slide the spark plug down into the uh, spark plug hole. Thread it on by hand. You don't want this to cross thread. That would be a very bad situation. And now we're gonna torque it to 15 foot-pounds. Right there, perfect. Get your socket off. This is optional, but strongly recommended. I like to take a little bit of silicone paste or dielectric grease and put it on the end of the ignition coil boot here, right here. Uh, where it meets onto the spark plug. This will do two things. One, it will prevent water from building up in there, moisture, which most likely won't, but you never know. If the car sits, it could, and it will allow the boot to be free and not stick to the spark plug next time you go to pull this off, because sometimes they get stuck down there, they seize up, and then you'll have a really horrible time trying to take this uh, ignition coil out. So drop it down, put the bolt in, line it up with where it bolts on, and uh, let's tighten it up, make sure it's nice and snug. Okay, that's tight right there. Let's go ahead and plug it in, make sure it clicks, make sure it's positioned properly, and now go down the line, do the same thing to the other ones. And once you've done that, let's go ahead and put this bracket on. Perfect. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.